I stream daily, almost daily on twitch.tv slash canister underscore mtg so be sure to visit that if you would like to catch some of my live content. I think scales is not super bad right now, it's just a bit bad. To say keep wow, that's a good get good hand. It's a great hand. So I think I play out the hammer on turn one to have skill up. It's gonna go this, 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 then the next thing I have this, and I keep up this and equip. Of course, if they fought sees my pure seal paladin and I draw Sigarda's aid, I'll cry, but most opponents don't have fought seas in their decks. It's better again. No! No, 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 they fought sees me, no. Cigarda Z, Cigarda Z, Cigarda Z, Cigarda Z, Cigarda Z, Cigarda Z. Okay. <laughs> that becomes awful, yeah. At, at least we didn't just Cigarda Z. Well, is it good though? Or is it bad? I mean, they were taking the Paladin no matter what, so just like the difference is the Palosus Hammer. Oh no, the Tyrant of Standard! Actually great against Esper Sentinel. Do you get Shadow Spear, honestly? We'll draw two Sigardas, one of Sentinel, one on the draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I going to back to playing Pioneer anytime soon? I would really appreciate insights from the king himself. The schedule is that until the PT, I'll be playing Standard on stream and a bit modern. Pioneer is going to return after I'm back from the PT because then it's going to be Athens in Pioneer, so... Pioneer is off the menu for for the next few weeks. Crack the blood. Feign death. Damn. This is awesome because my opponent gets the gets the blood token before the minus X minus X happens, so it actually works. Could keep up the skill, but one canister tweed and harvester is now the scam staple. No, I made like three or four poles with harvester in them. But honestly, you know, the other idea for a poll I had yesterday was harvest, harvester versus Tarmogoyf. Which card is stronger? Oh, sounds close. Well, literally constructing two mana, one mana removal spells at sorcery speed. Their synergy is insane. Good search for Kaldra now, but I think I want to make contracts because of this. I want the Memnite to attack into Season Pyromancer and trade. It's not great. Makes my constructs smaller. I mean, this can chum block later though. Can it? Uh, I don't know. Can they even beat a bunch of constructs? Well, they can cast removal spells. But yeah, it's gonna be very helpful. Bros, why is Fairy Mastermind 8 euros? Because the prizes are made up. If you buy into that, you're part of the problem. And you're a victim and also a perpetrator. <sighs> it's like the, the magic, magic cards don't have the type of a... like. There's no environment that would make reasonable rules of... Uh, demand and supply apply. The cards just exist and people put them up for sale and sometimes they just list exorbitant prices because... Control player. Hello, I have arrived. It's only much if somebody, somebody gets baited and buys. That's a great draw. Get a drum to keep up the scale. Could also just equip, maybe. 
for A, they trade everything for this construct. I will equip. Let's not keep up the skill. Another testing for PT starts tomorrow. Yeah. Well, to yeah, I'll yeah, yeah. Well, tomorrow there's gonna be no stream because it's Wednesday, and the sanctimony of a free Wednesday is something I am not willing to give up. I was only ever willing to give it up during the pandemic when I had nothing to do anyways, and I would be bored. <clears throat> But there's gonna be standard. What will you do on free Wednesday? I'm not sure yet. On West, like I go to the to the modern FNM with the buddies and, and we hang out. But besides that, on a Wednesday I also mm. I often clean around the house, vacuum, do laundry, uh, clean the kitchen, all that uh, types of stuff. Sometimes I, I clean, well, pick up the trash. What else do I do on Wednesdays? I play games, often Genshin Impact, sometimes some something else. Stock up on fish sticks. No, no, I go to, I go do grocery typically after the streams. Not on Wednesdays. Rarely on Wednesdays. Having a clean house, not having your house be scattered with loose MTG singles. I never had that problem. My magic... Let's keep this. It's not a great hand, but it's okay. My magic collection has always been contained to... To just like a single place in the house, in the room. And I don't have cards scattered in other places. Like, I, I would lose them. The cards cost... A lot, so doesn't seem like it makes sense, but I know it's a common problem for many, or at least from the memes. Maybe I should have went with Giver for for Stoneforge Mystic, but I think we can go Giver Spare Sentinel now. Even if they hit that Sugu consume all. Well if they fury I'm get fucked. But like yeah, I mean maybe I go Giver and pass with Yeah, let's go. Giver and pass with skill actually. The next time we can go Stoneforge with with Blacksmith Skiff. What's your opinion on qualified players playing in local RCQs? It's fine. The, you don't deserve anything. They don't take anything from you. You deserve to go to the RC if you have acquired a slot through the legitimate means of and which are winning a tournament. Like that's literally the one requirement. You need to win the tournament. On Versi, do you think there is something wrong with preventing qualified players from playing in them? No, I don't. I think that's a fine rule to employ. If you want to. Right, so they spend a fury. It was good for me to not to play the second sentinel. Let me go... Let me go Caldra. I think it's too rough on the LGS to not let their franchise players play their tournaments. Yeah, yeah. That's a good argument for, for that to be a thing. I hope they don't play Grief. Would be tough. Boon, yeah. But I think if you feel like you're getting robbed out of a slot because your opponent is like a good player and they beat you, then I think you are a little bit of a little bitch. No, this guy is dead. Gonna keep Sentinel back and I'm gonna give her a runes block. Fury. Give pro red. And probably like pass downs makes sense. But I'm in general not a big fan of collusion. Even though a certain decently large Amount of collusion is is widely accepted as okay in in magic.
But I don't... I don't love that. I'm gonna see 5 mana fury, kill kill, okay. That's fine, we equip shadow spear, attack them. We go to... Let's see, I have... Ocean, 13 damage, yeah, they don't kill me. Oh, that's good. It's good. Am I trying some Surge of Salvation? It's not available on Magic Online yet. It's funny how in different games collusion is different. Explain to some fighting game difference that players will often split finals and they were outraged. Yeah. I mean, if you take a normie, somebody who doesn't play Magic, right? And you explain to them the idea that, yeah, in a tournament people actually don't even play out the finals because they don't care and they just like chop the prices and that just kind of sounds outrageous to many. I don't know, it like kind of makes me feel a tiny little bit of shame for like the the game when, they, when I have to tell that people. What do you mean they scoop? So why do they play to begin with? Don't they want to win? Well... No, actually they don't want to win. Sanctifier on the back. Uh, sleep charm block with three creatures. Or like, with fury. I think we won. This is an answer to Kaldra, by the way. They didn't have an answer previously. This can answer Kaldra. You need three bloods, not trivial, but double. Wasn't pre-release last weekend. Why isn't it on MTGO? Because MTGO is later. Cards release in seven hours on on MTGO, so I can't get play them with play with them now. But you will be soon. Is it to care not enough or too much because of price? I don't know what you're trying to say, Da Vinci. Sanctifier on the back. Protection from opponent's deck. So demoralizing to play against a card with protection from your own deck. Are we win? Let's activate the Ink of Nexus, why not? So demoralizing to play an RCQ and people ID into top 8. Yeah, yeah. The ID culture is less... Uh, you know, it's, ir it's irrational behavior on a, from an individual standpoint, but... Oh, they can wait for fast strike, they don't actually die. Damn. They actually live, chat. I missed that, because my Kadra has fast strike, so, like, we do that, and now they pop the explosives, but that still leaves them with no outs, but... It's pretty funny. Good catch. Yeah, Set of Salvation against Scum certainly... Very nice. It would not help against neither explosives or Hidetsugu consumes all, which are two cards that they use. Just win more earlier. Yeah, exactly. So, like, the issue with that is that the Swiss system of a tournament makes it so that you're matched against the player closer to your skill. You're more likely to be matched against a player closer to your skill, to a proper skill level, later in the tournament, but it also... Naturally, the tiebreaker system means that the early rounds are worth more than the later ones, which is kind of a ironic thing. Not that it changes without IDs, because on Modo you also top eight if you if you if you want the early the early rounds and do not top eight if you like won if you lost early. But yeah, I think it's like the IDs make it worse because. You actually end up not even playing against the like appropriately matched players while while on modo you just get out tiebreakered tie broken. Yes, I prefer th this version without blue ever so slightly. Surge of Salvation also makes me not care for the spell pierce. Yeah, but you know what IDs are amazing for? Getting food before top eight. I understand that the incentives are here and I've been you know Social pressure into splitting a top eight too because people were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, we don't want to play because we can go home instead. I actually, you know, would want to play idly from a from a personal standpoint, but it's hard. 
Tournament magic structure is just an ultimate proof that humans are soulless, uh, EV driven, uh, selfish beings with no, no recourse. Luckily for splitting top base stats, you get to unlikely said no. So I don't think that's an issue. No, I didn't get to. There were seven people who said, yeah, I want to go home and, and one me saying, actually, maybe I would like to play, but it was also in Wrocław, which was like a two, two and a half hour drive from Poznań. And uh, there was like also a car of four other people who drove with me who didn't make the top eight. And they were also saying, can't just uh, split the fucking top eight so we can go eat, you know. <laughs> More so than the ID into top eight was what was horrendous was the ID last round of RCQ to get into top 64 of day two. Yeah, yeah, and the legacy events that happened. Is a theory, game theory, funny. Search seems like it solves different problems to peers. No, no, no. Well, yeah, but also I don't care for peers that much. And search, like, sell, solves Force of Vigor. Well, helps against Fossil Vigor fully, which is what I cared about. Your friends call you Canister? They do, yeah. Can still mark Tobias does this always also versus me. Da Vinci, try ma making your thoughts clear. I don't get what you're trying to say. I can still what? Like, Pierce is, Pierce is great, great to have against Living End. Can still Fossil play that. Well, I understand that I have the power, but again... The societal pressure was much greater than the, like much greater. I I could have said that, but just the, just the, you know, calculation of everything was not adding up. So I would have slightly annoyed to anger uh, seven, twelve people with my decision, and like the one person was was to benefit from that was me, only really, like benefit in the sense that yeah. I, I would play like three round more rounds of magic. I don't think I had like a crazy advantage over others. You can redefine your in group if you care so much. Sure. You can't. I I mean I don't have like power over twelve other people in a situation where their interests don't align with mine so much. It can also just become more disagreeable. Yeah. Well, like so like in the end. What I do in that situation is, is I also ma make an, a soulless EV calculation for me. And I... And I also assume that me wanting to play out the top 8 of a, of a, in the grand scheme, irrelevant tournament to, is not worth inconveniencing 12 people. <laughs> Changing Kendrick's mind. Have you done IGVLE, MTG Spore, Quizzles on stream before? I think so. I did plenty. Am I playing with Serge now? It's not on Magic Online yet, so I'm not. The link is two weeks old because I haven't changed my decklist because it's been perfect for me. I'll be playing with a with few Serges once it's available, but it's not on Magic Online. If it's end of the Swiss and I can ID into top 8, I always try to calculate if it's worth playing for the higher seed. Okay. Do I think Ren and Realm Breaker is good enough for Modern? Unlikely. Speaking of Ren, let's choose Ren and 7. 3 or 4 mana. Not green. Not legendary. Not Planeswalker. Alright, so let's go 3 or 4. Uh, let's go Goblin Rubble Master. Okay, 4 mana uncommon non-creature. Red. Older than 2014. Stoke the flame. Stoke the flame is gonna be somewhat similar to Rebel Master. Not sure where exactly it got released. Empty the Warrens. Oh, let's try that. Empty the Warrens was a common, right? Okay, no subtype. So it is an uncommon. Newer than Time Spiral. Four mana red uncommon. So it's gonna be an enchantment or instant. Homing lightning. Uh, I think we mulligan this. UK version of the office's weapons great cringe. What do you think about Nathan for you? 
Yeah, we, I get let's move. I think it's like too too weak. This is not great, but we can keep can put Bagornith up there. Nathan for you was really funny. Yeah, I asked Portable Head though because Portable Head made a made a assertion on a thing being cringe, and I am actually interested in in how people perceive cringe. Underworld cockbook, okay. Canister wants to master a cringe so he can be the cringiest. I mean, not wrong. I... Or, or Cryf... Receive... What do you mean? Receive? Cringe whenever you open up your stream? Yeah, I get this. That's good. Perceive, okay. Perceive. I don't know, like, unironically, am I cringe? In the sense that do I make people feel slightly awkward when I when I stream, when I talk, my jokes, my manner of speech? Maybe. Hi, Asmo. It's not good. I mean, I could see that being the case. Think your lack of earnestness prevents a lot of cringe and puts you into funny territory. What is earnestness? Povaga. Lack of earnestness? I'm very earnest. Maybe I'm not. I got a reactionary Andrew. You can play Caldra 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 soon. You did lie about knowing what the car I suggested. I mean, I do lie sometimes on the stream, yeah. So, like, or sometimes people are gonna ask, do you think it's a good idea? And I will say, yeah, and I actually don't think so. Gorious Vengeance. Because we don't have anything. Well, he has a Draxa. We are not prone to overreaction. Yeah, that is true. So what is cringe? Like cringe is when you perceive a person and you you kind of you perceive their like you feel embarrassed for for them you like feel the vicarious yeah vicarious discomfort of for for feeling like they like you could be in their spot it would be really really embarrassing then hmm. I really wish Canister would stop trying to be witty funny. It doesn't work for him at all, and it comes out super cringy. What he put into his hand? Emrakul, Bone Shards, Blasting, Margarius, Vengeance, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, I'm gonna get hit by an Emrakul. This is a Saga deck, right? And you can hit the Cookbook, which actually matters. You can hit Asmo, which actually matters. Needle seems okay. Kaldra seems hard to deploy. Sanctifier, slightly okay, but not so good. Giver of Runes kind of sucks. Let's get Giver. Where's my Sanctifier? Oh, it's here. Lol. Play like two Sanctifiers. It can be hit by Asmo, and it makes a little bit of sense. I think we want Ornithopters over Memnites in this matchup. Let's get one more skill for one more Sanctifier. <clears throat> Technically, Cringe is Creepy plus Fringe. Is that the true... true meaning? Let's keep this. Is Spare really relevant? There is blocker, spear, spear is relevant. I don't cut spear almost never. It's not great to draw, that's true. But it's not bad enough to draw that I'm gonna cut it, I think. For the tutor upside. So yesterday I watched I watched an episode of Nathan for you where he was hiring the like 60 mates to clean a place in eight minutes. And he opened with let's just gonna just rewatch it. 
after after some small talk is also my my favorite this part of this entire <laughs> after some small talk <laughs> oh. but of course like if it's like awkward to be on the receiving end of that that's kind of the point fail push hmm Um, I mean that person probably knows she is joking. Probably, I'll play the saga. If he plays this saga, then he can hit him with the march. Mana difficult in the mono white deck. Yeah, I mean colorless is like a color. It's just that simple. Can hit the blood token maybe too, so he can't emrakul me. It's four cards. Saga is the correct play here, thanks. Not sure about this, but it makes sense to me. I think I most likely died to Emrakul or Amro, Am Armo. Asmo. Saigon is the correct play here? What do you mean? Saigon what? He also has failed pushes, maybe Sanctifier is actually just good. Just strong. Sugon typo, sorry, I meant Saga. <laughs> saga, yeah, yeah. I assume he's gonna die. If I equip the second hammer on the Sanctifier. It's black mana only. Saga is terrible. Doesn't taste like tea at all. Bro, that's so funny. You're a fun guy. So I don't love Sanctifier because it does not clear Emrakul, but it was helpful this game potentially. Three Sanctifier, two Blacksmith skill, that sounds about right. The four marches too, eh, I think they're okay. Four out of five War Canisters card, yeah. I did say that. Well, this is a keep. Pow, 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 makes sense. Hmm. Hmm. I guess drum. Has Canister ever gotten a card correctly? Good question. Was it really a four? I was exaggerating because I can't remember how highly you rated it. It might have been. I've gotten plenty of cards correctly, I just gotten more badly. That's just that's just it. Alright, Sanctifier looking good. Stops the stops the problematic parts of Asmorano. And if we don't get Emrakul now, then we're gonna win. Next turn. Might miss land drop. Hmm. Curious. TBH, I think your card reviews are some of the best. Most of the MTG pros get way more wrong. Thanks. Is Sanctified an auto win? No. I don't think you can beat Emrakul. On the next turn. Yeah, I was thinking if Shadow Spear in some way can be better, but I can I don't see that. Cause then they they cannot block. Has to be a hammer. Yeah, I I I just need to take the damage if Venkmoth happens. If if Emrakul happens, hopefully not. You may say land drop, so just, you know, can top deck a land. But cease. <clears throat> but sees these. 
Giganta. Cool hair, Mr. Streamer. Thanks. It's John Orvar. When will Mom be released online? In six hours. On Magic Online. Not sure when on Arena. Hammer. But planes is not bad. Let's me activate my saga. Sorry, chat. It's tough. Buka re very rarely wants to play. Almost never, actually. She sometimes wants, but she never comes. Well, sometimes she does, but she rarely comes to, to actually engage in activities. Mishra's research desk, oh snap. They play the land and they use the desk. Got a rand for the next turn, crazy. Why do you have to be political, yeah? Good question. I don't know why, but I was fully expecting this to be a meme version of this song. It's because you were conditioned to expect that, because that's what commonly happens on this stream. Resolves. Damn, this Urza Saga thing sure seems decent. Seems like three out of five woke canisters. Okay, now we push. I mean, to be to be honest, I like the ratings I give are pretty arbitrary. But what I say about the cards is often true. For example, when I said that subtlety is the best thing ever, and that salt it seems underpowered a bit. Nice Ren. I think I should attack. Well, I mean, I trade a contract for Agavan, that's not good. And before Melchion pulls, Chand lost to a land. Eh, not yet, but probably. Actually, they lose. Yeah, tracker. Alright. I guess if I attacked, then they top deck a green creature, then I actually win with the giver, but you know, we didn't know they're gonna top deck a green creature. Tireless champ blocker. Why is the art on that swamp mostly white? Have you ever seen white? Still blows my mind that John is capable of winning games of Magic the Gathering and Modern. Why? I mean, it has mostly decent cards. It's not that bad, bros. Don't exaggerate. I think Caldrona gets cut. Memnite Ren. Oh, tough. Skip over Inthopters can also fly over. Goifs. So I have two Sanctifier and maybe two March versus them to respect Saga a little bit and do some stuff, but don't decide about much. Yeah, I mean, there is a clear problem with Jan's Saga in that it's not like, not playable without Saga and it's not a deck that that's even particularly good at using Saga, so you might wonder why bother. Uh, hand a bit shit, but I'll keep. Game two. Playing Breach, I have found John Saga to be a really sad matchup. Why is that? What's so bad about it? You can play the mid range game against them. That's probably what you probably should do. Because their mid range game tends to be more powerful. I mean, slightly more powerful, maybe, but you, say, you just said that it's really bad. 
So I don't... I don't vibe with what you're saying. And like, you can have the combo. Might is strong. Alright, let's play Saga. Fuck. I wasn't so good. I forgot about this. <laughs> I was thinking, yeah, let's play Saga first to make them pop the high wire might, then we can play the sword on the next turn. But there was a fatal flaw in my plan. Oh, might also can't kill Krija, so I could have... I could have marched it, TBH, if I wanted to. Okay, that was a terrible play. I got... I got distracted. It's all because I'm managing Ch Twitcher and the cat at the same time. Did we forget to play the Ink Mob? No, I played a land this turn. It was Urza Saga, but it died. Unfortunate, truly. So you think you're funny or smart? Which one of those do you think you are right now? Both, yeah. That's, that's what I figured. How does Chant win? <laughs> yeah, making the... Making a great point for Chant right now. Draw a land, that's not Urza Saga, we can just... Activate the income of Equip. Oh wow. Pick up the Verdant Catacombs, okay, alright. Pick up Giganta? Well, I assume you're gonna kill my bro. But so what? Well, I was probably trying to work out what the fuck up are you up to as Kanister wouldn't play Urza Saga to Alpine Moon. Uh, my opponent knows me and watch my stream ever, then they should know that that's definitely within my range. I would opponent not minus Ren beyond me. I also am surprised by the fact that they didn't minus Ren. They valued Ren over Terminate this spot. Especially with Ink Moth plus Sword being an available line. Oh well. Like now you play Giganta, I equip my Ornithopter and I attack you for four. Hey, let's play it. <laughs> Let's go face. Their hand is probably only lands at this time. Only lands account. Yeah, I just remember the the joke. I thought it was a bit cringe back then. But it's kind of fallen out of the humor meta, the like only fans jokes. It was just mostly a pandemic thing, I guess. It feels like it lost lost plenty of relevance. Nice Alpine Moons. Hmm. Well it does impact the clock if I don't go face. Is it relevant to hit Ren at all? If I draw a one toughness creature, then it is, so let's kill it. The client to draw a hammer. I mean, if I draw a hammer, it's gonna be fine anyways, and we can draw another way to spend my mana on. Currently, we are going to 10, then they go to 5. We're losing the race, we need to draw something. Well, we lose the race right now, but... It's possible that this sort of fire and ice is gonna yield me something. Uh Broseju. Oh that's good. In upkeep. Sounds like the best time to do it if you're scared of Blacksmith skill, which is reasonable. Reveal hand. Alright, easy win. Good prelim so far. Can do it on your turn for an F6 value. Well, it is, it is better to do it in their upkeep. In my upkeep. 
like by tiny by tiny little bit so you know it could like it almost doesn't doesn't matter but well yeah like sure technically it was still better for them to do it in my upkeep so i don't think you can fault my opponent for playing correctly like technically correctly even though it practically didn't matter sword here was better than nettle says yeah yeah I think Sword is in general better than Nettlesys, but I also think it's better suited for sideboard than it is for main deck. That's why I played in my sideboard. Game 1, I just don't want to, like, equip Sword. So let's say, Olsen, you'd meet a person that you are romantically interested in, and that person, you'd talk to them, and that person would say, Hey, so what are your hobbies? You would not... List out Magic the Gathering as your hobby. Because you'd be cringing too hard. Well, I'm asking him because he made a claim that he would tend not to would tend to avoid watching MG streams in public. Please don't fury. Actually I should have only played one creature because I will let the Ragavan through. I need Metal Craft. I mean, I personally would not have a problem with say, with doing that. Also, in my specific case, it's an even bigger part of my life than from someone who just watches the streams. So it's kind of hard to avoid. The Tyrant of Stan Standard. See, Duffy Voidwalker would not have made it. Duffy Voidwalker would have not been good enough here. What do you tell your grandma when she asks what you do? Well, that I play magic. I, like, I explained that to, to her a few times. She has a rough, rough understanding. Although, you know, like, she's always... In the end, she doesn't really get it, and then the last question that my grandma asks asks is always okay but like do you have a job do you have an employer to which i say yeah yes granny i do well that's actually a lie or rather well it's not a lie but i don't strictly have an employer but it's so far beyond her understanding that it's just simpler to counter your argument, people I have romantic interest in are hopefully going to into a deeper level of intimacy. Magic as a hobby is a similar to mental Ill illness. You don't brag about it, but when going deeper with someone, then you're going to need to disclose that fact at some point. Interested. So it does seem like you deeply, deep in, you feel like a certain level of shame about playing the game and enjoying it. Which, that, that is cringe. I'm fucked this game. We need the Paladin in play to draw equipments to equip it. We need to find draw Shadow Spear and then Shadow Spear and then drum and attack with a lifelinker. Okay. Mono removal, huh? Would you feel the same level of shame for playing a game like poker? Yeah, that's a good question. Good grief. David Mines used to tell at his colleagues he was traveling for poker when he went to PTs. Nice. Well, that's not nice. That's actually, that's cringe, but I get it. Don't feel shame for playing MTG, but also I don't think it's a particularly interesting thing to start a conversation with. Yeah, I agree. What I'm... The scenario I was presenting was when you are faced with a question already, so you have a choice of either uh, concealing it or, or saying it truth truthfully how it is. And that was all sense point of view, I guess. Let's get Shadow Spear. 
I think. I'm gonna be looking to normal equip this game to constructs. I think anything that you're passionate about and that you know how to storytell is an interesting conversation subject. The problem is the storytelling part. I think I agree with you. Well, terminate my Stoneforge, okay. Fetch a swamp, so that's cringe. I think with MTG it is more the fact like one person of one person of one person are able to financially support themselves doing it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, most people are playing it as a hobby and they support support their MTG playing by working every day. Don't play it, it's too consumes all. Please. Attack for 5 or play Shadow Spear? I'll play Shadow Spear. So they can't do funny, funny stuff. You can play next turn with Equip. Yeah, but I can also play more of stuff next turn with Equip. I have like Sword. My finance and I recently had a conversation where we're trying to find a better term for playing MTG. Usually I say something like, next weekend I'll be playing cards, which can be interpreted as playing poker, which is not really well received in Poland. My soon-to-be mother-in-law thought I have a gambling problem, Lamao. So like a better term than next weekend I'll be playing cards. Your finance should support your hobby. I think she does in this scenario, it's just the, the mother-in-law which doesn't get it. My grandma always tells me that I need to stop playing the cards because people ruin their life their way. Ktograf karty, ten ma web obdarty. Tak pewnie mówi, co? I'm wrestling with friend Jimmy's next weekend, yeah. Fury, for damage, okay. Okay, 5-5 five, five with two damage marked on. He just pitched the bolt. If he has another undying malice, he can use this to kill my guy. Jokes on air, instead of gambling, I just spend unreasonable amounts of money on basic lands, yeah. Bolt? I mean, he would assign the damage anyways. Doesn't necessarily mean bolt. Terminator, okay. I never spend unreasonable amounts of money on cards. Oh, it's the second chapter. Course. I'll be there for you, soldier boy. The person sharing my office plays MTG2, but he doesn't understand that indestructible doesn't stop X. So ask, ask that person, ask him if he knows what a plane soccer is. And report back, please. We need to confirm the Maro data. He does know what a plane soccer is. All right. Fury to block so he can equip the Sword of Fire and Ice, maybe. Can skip a construct? Oh, I'm making a construct, whatever, bro. Too dangerous. So probably has some dying malice, but it's fine. Six, four, it's getting like kill this, this and this. That's fine for the most part. We gain life in the process. And if he doesn't have the undying malice, then it's absolutely fine. And yeah, they just gets to deal, well, for damage, kill those, but we keep the Construct, he needs to top deck a removal spell for this, if if that happens then we could be up in a bit of an awkward spot, but we can still go Sentinel, equip, and have a blocker, and otherwise we can equip the Construct with the sword. Fable, whatever, yeah.
Did you play Sol instead of Sentinel to play around the Undying Effect on Fury? Yes, yes, that's why I did that. Wasn't lethal when I'm hitting next and tap for Dram. Oh yeah, I missed that. Could have done that, good point. I was looking for that and I couldn't find it, but... I only looked very quickly, but... Yeah, I could have made an extra artifact to actually have lethal. Caldra is weaker and they have Blood Eye Harvester, mostly because like you cannot play this into Blood Eye Harvester and get this. If you realize you can't cast Sentinel, right? You used all your mana. No, it's mana neutral. You play Sentinel, then you activate the Ink Moth, and Ink Moth costs one to activate, but provides one with a uh, Spring Leaf Drum. No, actually it costs two. It doesn't create extra mana Spring Leaf Drum because it taps for mana anyways. So, you were wrong. I keep this on the draw? I don't know. Yeah, so you lacked one mana to do that. I don't know about this end. He moves to six. I think I move, move to... I'll move to... This is not much better, but... You have two lands at least, I guess. Would have kept the seven. Surely with low confidence though, right? Not like snap, keep great hands, right? Audio desync. Hello. Since I'll draw one land maybe and it's okay. Even if I draw the land, then I don't have the hammer, so it's not like super good. If I had a hammer, then I would have kept this. Or a, even a Stoneforge. What is a hell of Mordevalo? Do they? Let's get Sophie. Sophie. Fury. Undying Evil. Hmm. Oh, that's fine. That one? Fable. I think it's better to play Sanctifier and Gingerbread this turn than to make a construct. Maybe I shouldn't have played out the saga this early. I should have waited a turn. I mean, I didn't have the sanctifier, so it was it would be good to to do otherwise. But I think I'm happier doing that. Can't make the treasure without losing the the goblin shaman now. We can block the next turn. We can make a construct, get drum likely. We draw a land. We can also play stoneforge, get shadow spear, and just cobble something together with the manual equips. On Stone Sanctifier. What are you gonna see? Grief. Path of Peril. Okay, it's fine. Are you gonna play some leagues when Sarah Salvation will be on Modo? Yeah, not today though. Reflection can be kinda scary this game, but... Mm. Am I finishing after the prelim? I think so. Finishing the Ram Ranch history video. Alright, let's throw Paladin or Sigarda Zaid. Thanks. Sometimes actually lucky. They've gone for Caldra, I think. I think you might be right. Wait, I could have just killed them with the fucking ink, but what am I doing, bros? Alright, whatever. I got distracted for some reason again. Maybe Kadra was better, yeah? Close. Well, if he has a removal spell now, then it's actually tough because he has the grief reflection lock. But if I draw hammers at instant speed at least, and we have a redraw, redraw with uh, sunbaked canyon. No, no, Hidetsugu. Hidetsugu doesn't consume today. Hello, Mr. Lethal, Mr. Streamer. Hello. Oh, you should have activated the Ink of Nexus, but. No, bro, fuck off. Why you have stuff? 
Did I make a hit at Sugu list? Spacebar question mark. Can you clarify your question? I mean hit at Sugu and Kairi. Should I think of twice? I mean as in fact. This is actually a very good draw against this. Like one of the best draws I could have had. Tak, bo my się chodzi tylko o jedno. Not playing E on one is sus. You wanted to discard my, my cards too. I'll keep the contract too. What is this song about? It's about partying and pandemic sucking. The lockdown sucking. Saved. Honestly, not deserved, but undeserved game, but but easy, an easy one. Redeserved, yeah, yeah. Bro, sometimes Hammer feels so crap to play. Can't do anything. You play your cards, you play like puny mem knights while your opponent is summoning Archons of Cruelty or Rhinos and sweeping you with Fury. In some other games, you're just unstoppable and you just top deck the hammers and you're like, yeah, oh, that's lethal. Oh, that's also lethal. Just top deck lethal twice in a row, no problem. But oh, good deck. Let's say easy in the chat. I don't think we can anymore, but Lucas is actually a member of the Sewer Rats, the group that I'm preparing for the PTs with. Well, uh, he appeared in the vlog too, so uh, typing in easy against him would not be bad manners, it, it would actually be friendly banter. Wait, how come Inkmoth survived EE? If you raid engine with explosives, it destroys each non-land permanent, and this is a artifact land creature, Pyrex and Blinkmoth. Can you consider this PT prep then? Sure. Sounds like you're saying Hammer is inconsistent, or at least feels like it. It certainly is slightly inconsistent. It doesn't... Uh, it's not the most consistent deck ever, yeah, for sure. It struggles a little bit with that. There is no top 8, it's just a price per round gaming and we won 600 play points, 5 treasure chest boosters and 40 magic online championship series QP call on season 2.